have a Maya Kiki Kevin Gabby, Gabby, you know, Q was just singing your praise a couple minutes ago. You know, when, you're, uh, <laughs> when your shot's not falling about how you make an impact in the game in so many other ways. You led the team in rebounds tonight. You know, how important is, is it to make an imprint in any way you can? Um, I'm, I've never been big on me scoring. I mean, if I score, I score. I, I try to score, especially when we need it. But, like, if I don't score, that, that's not, like, my main focus. Like, I try to do all the intangibles, all the things that don't always get, you know, uh, countered on a stat sheet. Like, I try to get deflections. I try to get tips. I try to do the little things. So, I mean, when it's working in my favor, and it was working today, I was getting tips and rebounds and stuff like that. Like, that's what makes me happy. So, I was happy to say I had 10 rebounds. I was happier for the ten, more happy for the 10 rebounds than the 10 points. So, yeah. Out of any of those rebounds, any of them stick out to you? Yeah, the one where they had a wide open, um, they had like some type of fast break, and the girl pulled up for three, and like I was just running, and I just ran to it. Because <laughs> the girl was running by, by next to me, and I was just determined not to let her get the ball. So if somebody else got it, it might have been okay, somebody on our team, but she couldn't mm -hmm. get it, so. Kara, just four points in the second quarter, but then 24 in the third quarter. What did Coach say in that halftime break that really sparked that energy? Uh, that we needed to make shots and, um, you know, play with confidence and look at the basket when you get the ball. Um, and I think once... Once we came out of halftime, we, we slowed down a little bit. Um, and, you know, we started making more shots and getting the ball inside and, you know, getting steals and easy finishes. Any changes from you personally that from the first half to the second half that you did to try to get the game rolling a little more? Um, I mean, not really, but uh, they were – they were switching on pick and rolls, so um, Coach Q kind of made an adjustment with that and who set the uh, ball screen for me. And I mean, I just did what I normally do with them. I didn't really make an adjustment. It's 35 34 Clemson, and they're, you know, smelling come back and upset. And you just kind of blink, and it's an 18 to 4 run. What was, the, what was the key to the swing there? What was the mood of the team? Did somebody say something, or you just like flip the switch? Um, well, when we were able to get into our pressure defense, um, it caused a lot of turnovers. So, that means we have to make shots, and that's what we did um, coming out of halftime. Um, we went in a little drought in the second quarter, but when we came out in the third quarter, uh, we made shots, and we was able to pressure them and turn the ball over, uh, make them turn the ball over. Amaya, 11 points, 9 rebounds, a um, couple blocks and a steal. It's a very balanced stat line, but what did you see from the Clemson forwards that maybe on the offensive end or the defensive end that allowed you to, to finish second on the team in scoring? Um, I just knew that their posts are very um, – aggressive one and like very athletic so just to kind of match their energy in that sense um so i just pretty much just try to match the energy try to get boards try to get points and get deep catches so that was my goal yeah hey, fifth win in a row coach you mentioned this time you're just about getting momentum it's, it's not about how the wins look or you know record the opponent that's the way you guys feel too because sometimes it's, it's not always pretty but it's a w is that always the bottom line and is that how you have to look at it I mean, of course we want to look good out there, but if we don't, as long as we get the W, you know, at, at the end of the day, the paper needs to say, it's gonna, either going to say a W or L, like we don't want to have L. So, you know, this five-game win streak is really giving us confidence, you know. We, like I said, we're finally coming together. I mean, we knew it would happen. We had, you know, some bumps in the road early in the season and early in conference play. <clears throat> and conference play. But, you know, we're finally gelling together. So we're just trying to, you know, continue the streak and finish out strong. There's a sequence, um, I think in the third quarter, when Emily like threw a ball over her head to you and like wide open in the corner. It ended with one of Gabby's layups. Um, were you expecting Emily to toss the ball over her head, or were you expecting her to pull back up and, and wait for numbers to come back down? Uh, well, no, I didn't expect her to do that. I thought she was going to take it herself, and then when she passed it to me, um, I really didn't want to shoot the three because it was like we wouldn't – we didn't have enough rebounders underneath the basket, so then I saw Gabby running, and I'm like, oh, okay. I just dished it off to her. In, uh, in the first half, it looked like they were trying to like double team the ball pretty much all the time, very aggressively. Maybe they, they took that back a little bit in the second half. What do you think they were trying to do with that? Um, just try to get the ball out of my hands, and um, you know, uh, our offense um, is all ball screens, and I mean, they were trying to trap it just so I can get a ball up or you know, turn the ball over. And um, I had to kind of make an adjustment with that, and you know, I, when I seen it coming, I had to keep my dribble and stay composed. One more question? No more? Oh, no. Great. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Great.